What is going on guys? Sterling with Handsome WP in another video. In this video, we're gonna be taking a look at how to set up and use the embeddable Handsome checkouts. So let's go to the back of the website and let's get right into this. So here we are in the back end of our website, guys, and there's gonna be a couple steps to getting everything set up. Number one, we wanna come into our Handsome Checkout, so we'll open that in a new tab. And then you can see all your embed forms are gonna be placed in this tab over here, embed forms, but we're just gonna create a new one uh, just, to, just to run through the creation process. So we could say test embed. Next, we're gonna select our checkout mode in this dropdown, and we're not gonna select checkout page because that's gonna create a page for, uh, for our checkout. We want an embed checkout form via shortcode. So here I am on the back end of my checkout. Once you select that you want an embed checkout form, it's gonna load in all the settings. So you can see I've placed a product in there. I have chosen whether I want one step or two step uh, checkout process. You can pick whether you want labels and placeholders or just placeholders. You can enable order bump, variations, quantity options. If you have any questions about any of these other settings, I've made videos of those, so go check those other ones out. Uh, they'll explain how to do that. We can still customize our colors for our form, which is great. So if we are integrating this with, say, Oxygen Builder or, uh, or Elementor or Divi or something like that, um, we can still make our fields and our form and everything kind of match our uh, existing template and then we can still select and adjust all of our fields order details uh, if we are using the multi-step we can customize those labels and then custom CSS and JSS if we want to, or JS if we want to load that on our page so once we have this all done let's publish and then is if you notice we have a short code right here that was generated for this checkout so I'm gonna copy this short code and then let's head over to our pages and we'll add it to one of our pages so here I am in the back end. You can see I have embed checkout form demo. So let's just open this up in a new tab. This page I've already created, but we're gonna see where we place this. So, um, so I'm gonna actually delete this short code right there. So I'm gonna come below my block. So you can see I just have a split content uh, block. I have a image of my product, a title, and a, just a test description in there. Now let's come below and I'm going to put forward slash short code and I am just using Gutenberg for this demo but you could any builder that will accept a short code you can pretty much use uh, use this uh, handsome checkout on which is awesome so let's preview in a new tab and this is what's gonna happen so when I scroll down you can see here is my checkout in there I can put my information in there I get all of my uh, customizations that I've made so if we go back to our handsome checkout and we look at our template you can see our backgrounds been set to black text color, link color, button color, so matching all of that stuff. Where this is really powerful and useful is if you're using a third-party builder, Gutenberg or uh, or Elementor or something else, you can integrate uh, your handsome checkout, your bump offers, your uh, all of your customizations into that existing page template, which is really cool. It allows you to not just use one of our seven templates that we have done currently, but to use, uh, use your own templates or your own uh, landing page. So that's really, really awesome. So number one is this. You can just integrate the form directly into your page. This is what uh, is one of the options we can do. But if we come back to our handsome checkout, you're going to notice it says display embed form as a pop up as our second option. This is super, super cool, guys. And I'm going to show you how to use this. So all we have to do if we want to make our embed form a pop up. So if you have a sales page or a landing page and you want to have multiple buttons where they can click it and pop up the checkout. All you have to do is click display embed as for, or embed form as pop-up, save it, and then you will notice that it did change our, our short code here. So we're gonna copy this new short code. If we, do not, uh, if we do not update this in our content, what it will do is it will just add a link that says your button here. So you definitely wanna copy this and uh, re-add it to your, uh, to your page. So let's go back to our page that we were editing. We're going to take this, uh, this short code because now it's just gonna be a button and we're gonna drag it up under our content or next to our product up here. And then we're just gonna replace that short code with the short code that was generated. And then all I'm gonna do is add some button tags in so that this will inherit uh, the default button style for my website. So I'm just gonna put caret, button, closing caret, opening caret, forward slash, button, closing caret. And this is just simple uh, HTML button tags. Um, or you could do if you uh, wanted to add a class to something or do you can basically control what's inside of it. The, uh, the short code is just going to be applying the correct uh, 
uh, pop-up link and all of that. So we'll just say uh, purchase now. So we'll just add purchase now as our text. We have our button tags in there and our new short code. So let's update this page. We'll come back to our preview and we will refresh. And now you see we get this nice purchase button. And then if we click on this button, we're gonna get a nice little pop-up that shows our checkout. So really, really flexible and awesome, guys. You can have it uh, popping up on your sales page if you wanna just have a button, you don't wanna load the entire form, or if you wanna load the entire form and that works into your design, you can just put that embed form uh, or that short code wherever you want and that will load into your checkout. And just like I mentioned, we can still enable our uh, our bump order if we want all its order details has come up and let's enable the bump order just for kicks and giggles. We're gonna say cap. We'll bump order our cap and we'll say yes, one time offer and we'll say this is awesome. Okay, so there we go. Let's update. We'll come back to our page and we'll refresh this page and then we'll click purchase now. And now you can see our bump order has been has been integrated right into our pop-up checkout guys just super powerful super cool um, and pretty much all the settings that you'll need to worry about are right here you can use this on as many pages as you like in your website and like I mentioned if you wanted to have multiple purchase buttons on say like a sales page you could set that up using a, a third-party builder so guys embed checkout forms are just another really cool way to utilize handsome checkout and all the features that are baked right into it um, and it's really easy to set up as we've seen in this video if you have any questions about anything you've seen in this video leave us some comments in youtube we will get back to you there or you can come and reach out to us at our website handsomewp.com we have a whole suite of plugins that we've designed to work with woocommerce to help our customers make more money through their woocommerce checkouts thank you guys so much for watching if you like this content make sure that you subscribe and give it a thumbs up it really helps us out and I will see you in the next video.